Dating in your 30s is really frustrating, especially if you're online dating, if you're using Bumble, if you're using Hinge, which are the two dating websites that are known to help you find someone. There are all these men who are in their 30s and in their 40s talking about, I don't know what I want. You know what it is that you want. I'm not trying to talk to somebody who doesn't know what they want. Serious question. What would you do if the guy that you were seeing made a female friend dinner at his place, like an elaborate dinner? I'm dying. Okay, so this is what he made his female friend. This is a cheese board. I have no idea what this is, but he made that. Some pasta. The pasta looks amazing. This looks absolutely amazing, not gonna lie. And he even plated it. He plated it. He was like, oh, I made something and sent me all these pictures and I was just wowed. I'm like, oh my gosh. This looks beautiful. Oh, but then naturally I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> were you on a date? And that's completely fine. Like, you're not my man, you know, we're not together. We're just talking. So if he was, which clearly like this is this is a date, but th that's completely fine. You know, we're not together. But this guy was like, oh, oh, no, I just cook like this for, you know, my friends all the time. You know, whether it's men or women, I made it for my friend and he named off some woman's name. I don't want to uh, be talking to someone or dating someone who feels like they need to spend one-on-one -on -one time with someone in a very intimate way this is like extremely intimate it's almost performing for someone um so yeah i i just wouldn't want my potential someone or my boyfriend or my husband doing something like all of this for another woman went on talking about like oh, that we're not together but like i would want my person to trust me and this and that but it doesn't come down to trust it goes down to him not knowing boundaries because it's if you're if you're doing stuff like this what else are you doing for your female friends to me that's just red flags all over the place and it just shows that there's a lack of boundaries so i just ended up messaging him back just letting him know that that's not something that i'm personally okay with and there's plenty of women out there who would be okay with it but i'm just not one of them here's the thing everyone is different there's gonna be women out there who are like that's completely fine i feel secure in myself i feel confident about my man and i you know i trust him and this and that that's completely fine and again it's not about trust for me it's just boundaries i want there to be very very clear boundaries if i'm talking to someone and i want them to know like what's appropriate and what isn't appropriate what do you guys think I'll be honest, I know so many females will disagree, but I hate sugarcoating things to appease to your ears. I find females make it harder for themselves. I'm not saying finding a husband is the easiest thing, but it's not a lifetime journey either. There are so many, plenty of good men, and if females are struggling to find that, she has made it that way herself. It's just that simple. Your dating life is hard, your dating life is complicated because of the choices you've made and how you've lived. It goes for the same for this female here. You're chasing a man who clearly wasn't interested in being in any type of relationship with you. You want to talk about boundaries and red flags when you're both single and you're living your life? You're hurt you didn't get your way with who you wanted. There was no red flags about him the man is living his life the way he's supposed to be and the way he wants there's nothing wrong here with what he did or does with his time she's projecting a lot of hurt she's projecting a lot of frustration that once again the dating scene isn't going her way this is why i say you do it to yourself females always want to make it seem as if there's no man out there who's traditional and willing to build a family in reality it's you who avoids those men and go for the exact opposite you give your time to men who don't care about anything you give your time to men who are known for cheating you give your time to men who aren't looking for commitment you give easy access to men who are wanted by majority of females and then you want to talk about those men as well you go on the internet and drag men in general about how they're trash when it's actually how you've gone about dating is trash. A lot of females have a female mindset, which is why they end up alone. You're never focused on the right things. You're never focused on working on yourself. You're never focused on tradition. You expect every interaction to give you those results. And it's absurd when you think about it. 
because you never focus on those things. Unless you're born or raised that way, you cannot expect things to be handed to you for nothing. And somewhere this female thought, giving this man her mediocre attention, giving this man her mediocre coochie, somehow you will stand out. Or even if it's the best coochie, somehow it will make her stand out. She's annoyed at herself for wasting her time, again with a man who she got zero results from. You don't want marriage the way you think. You don't want a husband the way you think you do. The sooner females come to this term, that you just want what you want, not the traditional values you tell yourself you do. The man didn't influence her, the man didn't lie to her, the man didn't tell her one thing and do another. This just seems like you're going for your type once again, instead of focus on what you supposedly want. When men tell you this, females think, oh, just go for any guy. I'm not settling, I'm not dealing with dusties. Anything to avoid accountability, that's what it is. Because no one is saying that. Overall, my point is she can find a husband. She can find a man. She can have those things. The things that she says she wants. So why are you here complaining? Why are you here talking about men or this guy? When the man that she supposedly describes is there and is available. And he's not some any dusty. He's an average good man that a lot of females can marry and build something with. Whether females want to accept it or not is also the main reason why she's here in that same predicament. You all go round and round in circles. It's not about you being a girl who's a doormat and accept anything that comes. The problem is you put yourself here in this predicament over and over again. Once or twice is enough because people make mistakes. But if you're constantly single and looking for a husband and that's all you talk about in your prime years, men are far from the problem. It's far from anything else that's going on around you but you. Because once again, it doesn't take an arm and a leg to find a decent man to build with. You're just not willing to be a decent woman with that decent man. That is what's happening. And for whatever expectation or standards you think you deserve, a lot of times it gets to a lot of females' head. I'm your hostess, Reminent Princess. These are my last thoughts. To be very honest, females are the reason why they're single. I don't care what past they had, I don't care how you grew up, I don't care what happened with who. You are single because of how you choose to make your choices and make your decisions. Because once again, it is not hard to find a decent husband a traditional husband it comes down to the choices that you make and females like making females horantic decisions to get what they want because somehow they think they can get those results with that type of mindset let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Bye!